These are the sun materials that help students to understand how ATP is made in the mitochondrion. So the mitochondrion, we, we've heard often, is the powerhouse of the cell. And in fact, the mitochondrion acts very much like a tiny fuel cell. In this case, electrons move from the food that we eat along a very specified path all the way to oxygen. And as those electrons move, some of that energy gets stored in putting together ATP. So let's see how this happens. Uh, first of all, this gray tray represents the inner membrane of the mitochondrion. The brown tray represents the outer membrane of the mitochondrion. And one can imagine that uh, this is like a balloon inside of another balloon. And we've sliced right through both of those balloons. The space defined by the inner membrane is the matrix. And the space between the membranes is the intermembrane space. Uh, in, this, um, in this tray, nested tray set, you see some components. And I just briefly want to introduce them. This represents a carbon compound. Now all we see here really are the carbons and we see some electrons, the little gold magnets, and protons, the ball bearings, attached. We don't see the oxygens, we don't even see all of the hydrogens that make up this carbon compound. But just imagine this is a carbon compound. This is NAD+, a carrier. These are pumps that we'll see pump protons as electrons move across them. This is a carrier called a quinone that can move through the membrane, and this is another carrier called cytochrome C. So, there really are three interacting systems that allow energy ultimately to be stored in the production of ATP. First system is the movement of electrons across this series of pumps to oxygen. The second system is the pumping of protons. As electrons move across, protons are pumped into this narrow intermembrane space between the two membranes. And finally, because protons are concentrated, they will move through this nanomachine called the ATP synthase and cause ATP to be made. So we can look in detail at this process. We'll do that in the next video.